Hey guys, this is Manav from Civil Center and I'm working on a new project today on Tecla Structural Designer. I already made the video on how to import and create the DXF file in the previous video. You can check out the, the video in the description. So today I'll move forward and uh, make the entire model and let's see how much time it takes and in how much time we can complete the entire thing. So we'll, first of all, we'll go to our print level here, structure base and uh, assign our columns here. So we'll just go to column here and uh, select this column and uh, after that we'll just go here and change in the sizes of the column give our size of 230 into 230 and click on ok and after this just turn on this turn off this automatic alignment and fe 500 will be it is and after fe 500 we'll just uh, this is done we'll just save this as a c 230 cross 230 and after that uh, we can assign our columns here this and this and this and uh, this this particular column also we can assign here and this one we might you know go for different orientation let's assign this and this and this also and here 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 so all this have been assigned for this i might go for a different orientation I'll just select the column again and this one i'll go for your let's say uh, 300 into 230 and put it here and you can just turn off this automatic alignment and put it here and select this column again just select see the properties of it and make this as fe 500 the remaining ones we had already you know assigned it properly so it's done so after you know having done all this you can just check go to the structure 3d view and check the, your columns here like this these are your columns which have been placed and after this you can simply just go and assign your beams select the beams and define your beam sizes so let's go with uh, your 230 cross 300 for our beams and after that we we'll just click on ok let's do it for the secondary beams here and double click single click and double click single click double click single and double so like this let's see if there is any secondary beam remaining so there is also a secondary beam here and from here to here and from here to here and also one we have from here uh, to here and here to here from here here I guess we have covered everything let's check on this is the primary beam this is the primary beam this will be a big primary beam this will be a primary beam primary beam primary beam and I hope all of the remaining things are the primary beam so for the secondary beams we'll just click on escape and define so both are uh, you can see both ends we have if this is the from left to right and one and end two for both ends all with no column to column connection both ends will be pinned and click on OK. Here also the same thing. And after that, here also the same thing will happen. Both ends will be pinned. No column to column connection. So going here, here also same thing. No column to column connection both ends are pinned 
now here we have column connection on one side so on the right side we have so end one will be this one and two will be this one so end one will be your pinned and two will be fixed but here both ends will be pinned just like this in this one both ends i think this is done already so after that this one this one also both ends will be your pinned and this one also yeah this one also same thing both ends will be pinned no column to column connection now for this one we have column to column connection in the bottom that is end one top we don't have any column to column connection so select this end one is fully fixed and end two will be pinned so like this we can do and after that for the main beams so select main beams here and let's go and select this okay we haven't saved that particular set so we'll go to 13 to 300 and fe 500 and after that we'll just uh, save this b 230 cross 300 okay and select this particular set of properties and after that we'll uh, i think we'll go with a property of 230 into 350 first and we'll go like this like this these particular spans let's assign this uh, particular property of 300 and after that I'll also assign here here so for all the main beams i can define like this now i must have some intersection errors uh, let me see where i have so generally i'll have intersection error here base b12 so i think this is the b12 so here will i have so i'll just select this and select this like this now i should be okay it's okay so click on escape and after i have made the entire model let me check in the structure 3d view so this is my plinth level uh, of the beams which has been done completely as you can see here i have made here beam 350 and uh, i have assigned it you know in all the particular portion here so after having done that i can also have an option of making all these beams at least 300 so that i'll do but firstly, firstly what I'll do, I'll go to model and go to construction levels and I'll just make them this particular thing as base and OK. And after that, I'll go to back to construction levels and make this as unique. And then I'll just have a taste of this because these particular beams along the periphery will have the periphery wall to support it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the size as let's say 300 and check later whether you know it acts or not you know sufficient or not this is definitely 350 okay so like this we can do and after that we'll go to this option of structure one validate the model validation updated and take the normal slabs i do not bother about one way or two way because i don't i want to design slab here anyway i want just want to take the loads here just assigning the slabs for so that i can take the load consider the load of the particular slabs so like this i have done structure 3d as you can see apart from the staircase portion i have provided the slabs everywhere and after that i'll go to model here construction levels here and uh, make this as your one and make this as your one okay I'll quickly go back to the construction levels and make them as unique unique and okay so after having done that we'll go to structure one and after going to structure one we'll select the dead load and uh, let me just turn on the of the slab items because that makes it easier to assign the dead load here just click on escape and then you can select this okay so in the structure 3d we'll go to structure base here and uh, we'll go to your load select the dead load and full UDL 
and let's go here with apply uh, udl of 11 or a 10.5 to this outer walls as you can see here for this outer walls we can apply this particular load and for the inner walls we'll apply a load of 5 So after having done that, what we'll do, we can go and check in the 3D view here whether all the loads have been applied or not. So this has been applied, we'll go to the structure 1 and apply our dead loads here and we'll go full UDL once again and this time uh, what we'll do, as you can see we can uh, check our plan here. So this is our plan, so the first floor will be the same according to this. So we'll assign our remaining loads also. So let's apply the loading here and we'll take a full UDL here of let's say 11 or 10.5 and apply it in the staircase portion and the outer portions. And after that we'll apply load of like 5 in the inner portions make sure you don't apply the same load twice we'll just take in the 2d view so after this is done we'll just select the imposed load from here and uh, select this your uh, level load of your 2 kN and as you can see I'll just turn on this lev items and after that I'll click on this and after that import load will be applied you can see in the 3D view the import loads and after that go to structure 3D here just turn on the import load and also the dead load you can check out in the 3D view the loadings so now we will just uh, go to model, we will just go to construction levels and in this particular level we will just copy this to 1 ok go to construction levels once again make this a back as unique so after that this has been copied we will just do for the terrace floor structure go to the terrace floor and after that we will just select the uh, you know imposed loads and after selecting the imposed loads we will go to your load and your level load to select it after that go to date here and go to scene content and turn off the slab items and click on escape and then select full UDL and select 10 and we'll go for the staircase portion staircase portion only we'll select UDL select this and select this so after that check the thin the 3d view so one portion is remaining full udl of 10 this one done now full udl of uh, you know 2.5 and this portion for the parapet wall 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we'll take the udl single click single click so we'll check in the 3d view as you can see the load of the uh, parapet wall has been applied here properly click on escape so just check on this dead load so the loadings have been applied properly and after the loadings have been applied we can also apply the seismic load if we want for the residential buildings sometimes it's not required so just taking, taking the you know uh, length level below which will ignore important factor of one for residential and uh, we'll take uh, zone uh, three and after that next model response spectrum analysis structure type is RC moment resisting frames and moment frame systems and after that click on next and shift and select this and take all of this 
and then next finish after that select the operating scenario next and the simistate methods are selected next and then finish so after having done that just validate the model once and after that we can go and you can check our model after for checking our model go design and design static so as you can see load combination has not been defined go to load and select the combinations here generate and then next and then select all the limit state combinations as per the IS codes next and finish and after that click on ok and after that click on design and design all static so the structure will get designed now so as you can see the structure has been designed some members are failing some members are passed so all the members which are failing we need to increase the size of it or change the orientation of it so that's all for today's video we'll come up with more interesting videos and if you want special sneak peek sneak peeks into our channel you can also join our channel memberships so that's all stay safe and keep learning bye bye